Increased recognition has been given to the use of technology to improve learning opportunities for children with autism. Experts suggest that using technology to assist in targeting specific skills may be more motivating and less averse than targeting skills in a more traditional setting for many children. Specifically, lessons that incorporate technology may lead to increases in on-task behaviors and decreases in disruptive behaviors for some children. Although technology should not be viewed as the primary mode of providing instruction or therapy, it can be used in a variety of ways to meaningfully assist programming for children with autism spectrum disorders. The term assistive technology refers to any item, product, or equipment that is used to improve and maintain functional skills in individuals with disabilities. The purpose of this module is to describe the range of technological equipment, from low-tech to high-tech, it can be used to assist educational and therapeutic programming for students with autism spectrum disorders. Identify how technology can be incorporated into targeting specific social, communicative, academic, and daily life skills for this population. Provide information and examples of assistive technology for children with special needs. Discuss specific technological uses for program planning and evaluation for teachers and therapists working with children with autism and describe how to choose which forms of technology to incorporate into your child's instructional and social environments. The use of technology in educational and therapeutic settings can range from low-tech, or basic and affordable, to high-tech, or more expensive and typically newer devices. As new technology is introduced, what was once considered high-tech becomes low-tech. Both low-tech and high-tech devices can be beneficial in assisting skill building for children with autism. Low-tech equipment can include any inexpensive or older technologies that are used to facilitate functioning. Specific examples of low-tech equipment that can be beneficial for children with autism include PECs, or Picture Exchange Communication System cards, that can be used to facilitate communication for children with delayed or absent expressive language skills. Visual schedules that can be applied to aid in student transitions across the day or within activities. Token boards that can be used as a representation for backup reinforcers or as a method of student self-monitoring. Visual timers that can be used as a visual prompt for time to transition as a way to extend wait time or for a variety of other purposes. And pictorial or visual prompts in order to support skill acquisition across a variety of skill areas. Equipment that can be categorized as high-tech can also be very useful in assisting instruction for children with autism. Some examples of high-tech equipment that can be especially beneficial for children with autism include laptop or desktop computers, specific educational or therapeutic software, touch screen monitors or touch overlays, smart boards, iPads or iPhones, gaming consoles such as the Wii, and AAC devices or augmentative and alternative communication devices. This equipment can be used across a variety of skill domains, including social skills, communicative skills, pre-academic and academic skills, and daily living skills. Let's take a closer look at how technology can be used to assist instructional programming across these domains. Deficits in social skills are a defining characteristic of autism spectrum disorders. Various forms of high and low-tech equipment can be used to target a variety of social skills. These can include social-based stories presented on paper or the computer, video models, and technology-based games. Social-based stories can be presented via paper or the computer or smart board to an entire class or to individual children as part of a multimodal social skill building lesson. For example, a teacher could present a story about initiating greetings with developmentally appropriate text and or pictures via PowerPoint or similar software to the class. Then, the teacher could model the behavior of initiating greeting for the class. Finally, the teacher could instruct the students to role-play the skill with each other and provide prompts and praise as needed. Video models are another way to use technology as one component of a lesson designed to teach discrete social skills. The video models can include same-aged peers, adults, or the children themselves engaging in specific social skills. Commonly targeted skills include greeting others, eye contact, sharing, raising hands, and initiating and maintaining conversations. Finally, group games on the smart board or gaming console 
can also be used to target an array of social skills. For example, turn-taking, raising hands, joint attention, following simple and complex instructions, and coping with changes and not winning can be prompted and reinforced during these activities. Communication deficits are another defining characteristic of autism spectrum disorders. Examples of methods of targeting these skills across high and low-tech equipment, including the use of PECs, AAC devices, and the use of alternative communication tool apps on the iPad and the iPhone. PECs, or the Picture Exchange Communication System, is an example of a low-tech, or even no-tech, evidence-based system of communication. It involves six phases of progressively complex communicative interaction and is based on the science of applied behavior analysis. One advantage of PECS is that fewer prerequisite skills are needed compared to more technologically sophisticated communication devices. AAC devices, or augmentative and alternative communication devices, are another popular way to apply technology to increase functional capabilities of individuals with communication deficits. These devices typically allow the individual to manipulate a screen that generates a voice output that can range from one word to multiple sentences depending on the capabilities of the device and user. On a side note, BoardMarker is a popular software package that allows users to create pictures for use with PECs, visual schedules, and overlays for AAC devices. Finally, iPad and iPhone communication tool apps offer the newest wave of alternative communication devices. These apps vary by developer, so it's important to research and compare apps before purchasing. These apps can be used in much the same way as the AAC devices. Families, parents, and therapists often have difficulty deciding which form of alternative communication to use to teach their child. In addition to the previously mentioned methods, sometimes sign language is also considered. The good news is that it appears that all systems are equally beneficial at prompting language development. When choosing an alternative communication system, families should consider feasibility of consistent implementation, materials needed, cost, and the ability of the communication mode to generalize across settings. Targeting pre-academic and academic skills for children with autism sometimes requires teachers to think outside the box. Often, traditional classroom-based strategies are ineffective at teaching the desired skills. Various forms of technology can be incorporated into the educational setting in an effort to teach these desired academic skills. Specific forms of technology that can be used as part of academic and pre-academic lessons include the smart board and a multiple of various computer software programs. The smart board is an interactive whiteboard that is connected to a computer and can be used to target or review academic concepts with students. Also, various computer software programs target an array of academic-related skills. For children who are not able to manipulate a mouse, a touchscreen can be used. Some software programs are designed specifically for children with autism. In addition to these commercially available software packages, many websites offer free educational activities that can be used individually or in a group format. Daily living skill building is often overlooked when designing programs for children with autism. However, this area represents an important and overarching domain that includes skills that are essential for promoting child independence. These skills vary by developmental level and can include toileting, dressing, grooming, and leisure skills. Examples of incorporating technology into teaching these skills include the use of activity schedules, visual task analysis, and video modeling. Activity schedules involve the presentation of pictures that represents various activities that provide an antecedent method of increasing time spent in leisure activities. Activity schedules can be presented via laminated cards on Velcro or on a device such as a laptop, iPad, or iPhone. Task analysis with visual prompts can be used with chaining when teaching specific skills such as brushing teeth, washing hands, or getting ready for school by breaking down the task into small steps and providing a picture representation for each step. As with activity schedules, visual task analysis can be presented through the traditional means or via a computerized device. Finally, video modeling can also be used in combination with role-playing and feedback to teach specific daily living skills. When implementing any type of instructional or therapeutic programming, 
It's important to continually evaluate program effectiveness and document child progress across time. Examples of using technology to assist in this procedure includes data collection via iPad, iPhone, or other easily transportable device, visual representation and analysis of the data via computer software, and staff training with a video modeling component. Data collection is essential for identifying effective teaching strategies and providing accountability for student progress. The iPhone and iPad offer a unique opportunity to capture and store data without the need for traditional paper and pencil methods. Data analysis can be completed visually to quickly and easily view behavior across time. Various software can assist in this process. Finally, one important component within a multi-module staff training program is video modeling, which can be useful in demonstrating specific desired skills. When deciding what forms of technology to incorporate into a class or individual child's curriculum, it's important to first consider which specific skills need to be taught. This will narrow the field of possible technology-based instructional aids from which to select. Next, families, teachers, and therapists should consider cost of the technology and related materials, prerequisite skills needed for the child to use the device, and feasibility of implementing the device for use as intended or in a way that can be most beneficial to the child. Careful consideration of these factors will assist in the selection of meaningful technology-based supplements incorporated into learning opportunities for children with autism spectrum disorders.